Merida is the capital city of the state of Yucatan, and it is one of the most popular cities in Mexico. Here are the top things to do in Merida. Be sure to stick around until the end, as number one will take your breath away. Number 11. Tour the Gran Plaza. Also known as Plaza Grande or Plaza de Armas, this plaza is ideally located in the city center and contains most of the historic buildings around here. In the pre-Hispanic period, the town center was the venue for most of the Mayan ceremonies that were common at the time. The center also maintained its relevance into the colonial period when it hosted many bullfights. Today, it is still the city's main square, consisting of several government offices and many more shopping complexes. A tour of Plaza Grande will leave you amazed by the superb architectural style of the historic buildings. You'll also fancy the sublime manner it blends with the modern buildings, which are becoming more prevalent in the city. If you are chanced, you may want to catch the Friday night poke da poke game held at the plaza. Number 10. Check out the beautiful murals at Placio de Gobierno. Placio de Gobierno is the government house and seat of the state government of Yucatan. It is one of the most captivating attractions in Merida, thanks to its glorious architecture and dominant figure. However, the real highlight of this building is reserved for when you step inside. The building is several times more beautiful from within and is filled with some awe-inspiring paintings from local painting legend Fernando Pacheco. The murals on the walls reflect Mayan history and you'll find them every bit as interesting as they are enlightening. Number 9. Learn Mayan History and Culture at the Mayan World Museum Next, it's time to learn about Mayan history and culture, and where better to get this knowledge than at the Mayan World Museum of Merida. The Mayan civilization was a dominant Mesoamerican civilization that thrived in Central America before the colonial periods. This civilization still exists today, but is not nearly as popular as it used to be. However, the Mayans boast a rich history and culture that is worth looking into. The Mayan World Museum contains exhibits, handcrafts, and written documents that tell you everything you need to know about this cultural heritage. You will also learn more about Merida to help you navigate the city better while you're here. Number 8. Visit Celestune Wildlife Refuge the Celestune Wildlife Refuge, or Biosphere Reserve, as it is colloquially referred to, is an area in Celestune set aside for learning about several wildlife species. It is located right in the mouth of Yucatan's largest groundwater basin and mainly consists of bird species. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is close to Merida and is one of the most popular tours from the state capital. In this beautiful biosphere, you'll find an estuary, a coastal shrubland, and several mangrove tunnels. The refuge is home to about 200 animal species, including sea turtles, iguanas, pelicans, and crocodiles. However, what will capture your attention the most in these parts is the thousands of pink flamingos waiting in the waters. Number 7. Enjoy blissful Mexican recipes in the local restaurants. Mexico is known for many things, including its outstanding culinary skills and delicious recipes. Well, another thing you can count on the Merida people for is their delicious meals. It goes without saying that tasting a few or more of these delicacies ranks among the best things to do here in this state capital. Indeed, food is a big part of Merida's rich history, and they don't seem to ever compromise on the quality of their meals. So, you know you are in for a treat whenever you step into any of the local restaurants across town. From tacos to chonchinta pibil to pokchuk and sopa de lima, there are enough recipes to delight your taste buds during your stay in this foodie's paradise. Plus, if you're interested, you can also learn how to make a few of these delicacies, as the locals are always willing to teach you a thing or two. Number 6. Take a day trip to the magical yellow town of Isamal. Isamal is a small town located about 45 miles east of Merida, and it is one of the most popular day trips to take from the state capital. The town is often described as magical, but this description doesn't really do justice to what you will see and feel once you get here. One special feature of this town is the bright yellow buildings that dominate the town. Nobody knows for sure why these buildings were all painted yellow, but they are a delight to see and Isamal is a must-visit destination whenever you are in this region. By the way, if you want to learn how to save money on airfares, then click the link in the description below. This guide teaches you how to always get the cheapest flights. Number 5. Go shopping at the local Lucas Galvez Market Of course, there are many activities to keep you occupied during your stay in Merida, but your visit will be deemed incomplete without a visit to the local market. Local markets teach you much about Mexican towns and cities, and Merida is no different. Lucas Galvez Market is the central market here, 
and it's where you go to witness the best interactions between the locals. The market is huge and has different sections for different foods, but regardless of its size, it's always crowded as buyers and sellers from around town and beyond meet here to do business. Be sure to get in on the act by buying a thing or two from the local vendors. Surely this experience is one you don't want to miss out on. Number four, visit the Museum of Contemporary Art. The Museum of Contemporary Art, or Mackay for short, is a great art museum in Merida. It ranks high among the list of museums to visit in Yucatan and is arguably one of the best art museums in the country. The museum displays excellent art pieces from famous and upcoming artists, and these artworks are often a spectacle to behold. This museum also boasts sculptures that are renewed each year when new ones are installed. Surely, if you are an art lover, this is one of the first places to visit in Merida, and you can expect your jaw to be dropped by the impressive paintings on display here. Number 3. Explore the pristine beaches at Progreso A beach experience is almost inevitable for tourists visiting the cities of Mexico, and it's no different here in Merida. However, you may need to head out to the nearby port city of Progreso for the best beach experience here. Located just a mere 30-minute drive from the state capital, Progreso is known for its perfect, pristine beaches. These beaches are favorites for tourists in Merida, and you may want to spend a relaxing afternoon sunbathing on them. The clean, calm waters are swimmable, and you can also partake in several beach activities here. Number 2. Catch Venados FC in Action Spend a few days in Merida, and you will be amazed by the amount of passion with which football is followed here. Well, if you are a football fan like many locals here, you may want to catch a live match during your stay here. Merida's local football team, Venados Football Club, plays in the second division of the Mexican League, and they enjoy a vast fan base here. If you're lucky enough to be around during a match day, you may want to head up to the Estadio Carlos Iturralde to see some classic football on display. Plus, match days are often pretty loud in this city, as thousands of locals roar in support of their beloved football club. Number 1. Check out the ruins in the archaeological city of Zibilchotun. This is not the most popular attraction in the city, and it is often missed by a large number of tourists. But then, the lucky minority who discover this ancient city is often left amazed by the impressive ruins. Zibilchotun is a significant Mayan site and also the longest serving Mayan city. It is believed to have existed since the early 16th century and was one of the largest cities in Mesoamerica. Well, you already know there's a lot of history to be uncovered here, so you don't want to waste any time before exploring this ancient city. The city is believed to have housed over 8,000 structures in its prime, so you'll be exploring a lot of ruins and ancient items when you get here. You will also find Cenote Eshlaka in this city, which is a body of water that over 30,000 artifacts have been found beneath the surface. Plus, you can take a dip here after a long day, and who knows, you might end up discovering an artifact for yourself. Click here for more things to do in Mexico.